Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate JotForm with Integromat. That way, you can expand the reach of your automations and integrations using Integromat automation system. So, follow me to my desktop right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Before we jump into Integromat, let's first build the form that we're going to use for this automation. So let's go into create a form. We'll use start from scratch and classic form for this demo. So this is going to open up our job form builder. And let's add a couple of elements. Let's just add a full name. Let's add one more short text and the email. All right, and we're going to call this form for Integromat, okay? That way we can locate it once we're working on Integromat. Okay, once we know what it's going to be called, now let's head on over to settings and we're gonna go into integrations. Let's search for Integromat, there we go. And let's visit Integromat. This is going to open up our Integromat account. If you're already logged in, you're ready to build. Now, these are several integrations that are suggested by JotForm and Integromat. So depending what you want to use it for, well, there's, for example, JotForm and Google Sheets. That means it'll transfer the information to Google Sheets, JotForm to Slack, add a new Trello board to JotForm as a form, create DocuPilot, and there's several automations available here, plus the ones that you can think of that they, they already integrate with. So let's create a new scenario. Okay, and let's get started with the first point, which is actually connecting Integromat with JotForm. That way they connect with each other. So let's go into search and let's search for JotForm. Let's go ahead and click on it. And we have several options to work with in Integromat. So we can watch for submissions. That means that when a submission is created, that information is gonna be pulled and brought into Integromat to do whatever you want to do with it in automation. There's also, the action to create a new form, if that's what you want to do, get monthly user usage, get form submissions, and get user submission. So in this case, we are going to watch for submissions, okay? So now let's go ahead and integrate. We're gonna click on add, and there we go. And the work name, we're gonna, webhook name, we're gonna keep it as it is, connection. We're gonna click on add, and it's gonna ask us for our JotForm API key. Let's head on over to our JotForm account. Let's hover over our avatar and click on it. Let's click on settings. And there's a section called API. Let's click on it. And we're going to create a new API for this. And we're gonna switch it to full access. Let's go ahead and copy this API key and head on over to our job form account. Here we go. And we're gonna add our API key. Let's go ahead and continue. And this is going to read all the information from job form. So now they have access to our forms. So you can see we have a list of all the forms that we've created, including the one that we've just created right now, which is form for Integromat. So let's click on that one. Let's go ahead and save it. There we go, it's updated. Let's go ahead and click on OK. Refresh the metadata. Let's just open it up to see. Show addresses. We're good to go. And what do we want to do with this automation? Now that we're integrated, let's go click on the plus button and we're going to decide what we want to integrate with or what we want to do with it. So for example, let's just say that we want to send out the contact information that we receive on JotForm and send it out to our marketing service. For this case, let's use Send in Blue. Here we go, Send in Blue, let's click on it. And then we have a list of the automations that we can do with the information. So in this case, we are going to create a contact, okay? But you can do other things with the information. So now we need to integrate with Send in Blue. Okay, so we have the email, and this is the variable that each time that a submission is made, it's gonna be updated with the variables from our form. So we can view the information right here, and what we're gonna use is the email variable. So each time the email changes, it's gonna add it here, and then the attributes for the name. So in this case, we are tying it to our form. In this case, it's asking for first name, so we're gonna first name. And then again, for the name, we're gonna select last name. And SMS, in case we want to use that, um, we didn't add the phone number, so we're gonna skip that one. And if you are using double opt-in, you can use it there, okay? 
let's go ahead and add this to our job form list. So depending on the list that you have in Send in Blue, it's going to be added here. So let's click on OK. And now we're integrated. So that means that when a submission is made, it's going to automatically add it to Send in Blue. Now, the cool part about Integromat is that you can add more automations to this. So let's just say that we are sending it to our Send in Blue, which is our, is our email marketing service. Plus, we also want to send the contact information to our CRM. So for example, we'll click on this plus button and we can search, for example, HubSpot CRM. And again, we have the options for this particular integration. So in this case, we can list organizations, list invites, get in invite, invited user, and so on and so forth. There's all these, all these integrations that we can do with HubSpot. So we can list a client, create a client. In this case, we can create a client with the information that we receive on job form. And again, we have to integrate with it, connecting to HubSpot for this. And if you don't like what you're looking at right here, we can go ahead and remove it and replace it with something else. And we can add filters in between and several other automations that might be useful that are available in Tegromat. So we're using job form as a submission to get started and then further automations with Integromat. Well, that is how you integrate JotForm with Integromat. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.